in engine 76. I think we're going to be going defensive. Uh, it appears it may be vacant. We're safe. All right. Well, this will be fun. Just got home from work. Everything is pretty okay. <laughs> it's 19 degrees, 18, 19 degrees right now. And the only thing they got froze is our pee trap for my daughter's bathroom and the shower. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some warm water and wrap that pee trap and hopefully break up some of that ice. And that way it can flow. I've got the tub filled up with warm water so it's got some head pressure so we're gonna see if we can uh, get that knocked out real quick so now we have to climb underneath the house all right we're going for round two now the advantage is at least i have a decent crawl space under my house otherwise this would be almost impossible I'm here all right hold on got it thank you you want me to start heating up more water yeah There it goes. There it goes. All right. There it goes. That is good. Because I desperately need a shower. All right. So we're having to come in about every hour. No, I guess we was just cleaning things. And make sure yeah, we're able to out. give the rabbits their water. But she drank it all before it froze again, well, so that's they, good. they were thirsty. Hi, baby. She is not really making a hole either. I don't know if she bred. I don't think she bred. Hey, <laughs> He drank all his. Good for him. Okay. Tell you what, I've, this little wind block yeah. is working pretty good. Not so bad. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> That's good, Bob. So I just poured it on top because I didn't have another bucket. Yeah. And it already just up a little bit. Inside, <laughs> yeah, it's all right, it's working. We'll just have to come out every hour. So I hung, I hung that one yesterday, and within like an hour, it was yeah, well, it was frozen. So I got this little thing because I can undo just it pretty quick. Dump it and go, huh? Dry food. Yeah. Yeah. Soaked feed wouldn't work out too well, would no, it? No. Dogs and cats are well taken care of. They're nice and warm. Reese. Oh, Reese. I have to separate them. There's one. And there's the other. <laughs> so we're going to put their litter box back in that back room so that they can at least roam around. But my hands are cold and you don't need to see litter boxes, so uh, I'm going to go have me some coffee, try to warm up. The next day. Well, good morning. It is a brisk 19 degrees. Yeah. It was down to 17 when we woke up this morning. It has uh, really warmed up to 19. <laughs> so 
we're all bundled up and we're going to come out and watch Miss Courtney do her chores this morning and see how everybody fared out. All the chickens are looking extremely happy. Yesterday, I pour the water on top of it. Oh. <laughs> I mean, and I know it's just gonna freeze it again, but I just need to get another bucket. It's gonna have to be good for now. I need to get more, I guess. Ooh, it's all frozen. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. This is what I had to do yesterday. I take these inside, I gotta go defrost them. Ah, gotcha. So I'll do the dogs and the cats and then we'll defrost these. And we'll do the Any fur? No, nope, no fur yet. Because okay. I probably have to take Reese's bowl and go get it defrosted too. All right, well the good news is I don't think it's back here in this corner. I don't think Miss Tapioca got bread. Babe, we're only at like 30, uh, 31 or so. Okay. I counted it up today. We still have time. Okay. She may. She may. She may. I'm not taking it out yet. Okay. <clears throat> getting... like cold, huh? <laughs> She's going to get icicles hanging from her. Her little beard. Her beard. She wants some water. Go potty first. Hey. This is our comfrey. Now, I did not cover this up because we have found that that comfrey, when it freezes, it just comes back. It's so rooted down, the roots are so deep on it that as soon as it warms up this spring, that will come back and just flourish. It'll be another, you know, three foot tall again this uh, this spring. So we really don't worry about covering the comfrey up because that seems to come back regardless. But it's all an experiment, so we'll find out whether or not it uh, comes back again. Oh my gosh. I didn't cover a lot of this, so. My carrots, they didn't fare out too well. I made a little makeshift greenhouse for some romaine and lettuce. They didn't fare out very well either. But we're not too worried about our garden this year. Like it's, if it makes it, it makes it. If it doesn't, then it wasn't meant to be. But Ashlyn's flower garden was the thing that she was extremely concerned about. And it looks like it's held up pretty well. We're gonna be able to uncover it today, I think, because the highs are gonna get in the 40s. Uh, and I don't think we're expecting another freeze until late this week. So I don't wanna keep it covered the whole time. So for the most part, we fared out pretty well during this uh, little Arctic blast we've had. Now our pea traps for our shower and the girls tub, that froze. You saw me defrost that earlier uh, yesterday. So it's, 
I would have to do that again today, but uh, we're going to see because at noon it's supposed to be in the upper 40s. So we're going to see if that's going to defrost on its own because we don't need it right now. Thirsty? Yes, she is extremely thirsty. We do not withhold water from our dog. When she's inside in this cold weather in her travel crate, she refuses to drink water. So uh, at, night. at night. So in the morning, she is awfully, awfully thirsty. Speaking of thirsty. This bunny's going to do the same thing. Well, for the most part, that concludes our winter for here uh, in 2024. There's a good chance that uh, we're not going to have any more cold weather other than, well, we have one more night that is going to dip down just below freezing for a few hours. Not too concerned about that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to fill up our automatic waters and kind of set things back to the way they normally should be. It would help if I closed the drain a bit. Let's do that first. Hi guys. Oh, hello. Hello. Good morning or afternoon, whatever it might be. So I have been informed that I cannot touch Ashland's flower garden. It's all wrapped up still. We have one more night of freeze, but that's in like two days. So we're getting everything kind of situated to where we're not too worried about the cold temperatures anymore. However, she's not letting me unwrap that until after our next freeze. But we have some plants in the shop that we're going to pull out so they can get some sunlight for the next two or three days. And then we'll put them in back in the shop for just that one night that it's going to dip down uh, just below freezing. And then we'll be ready. And it'll be springtime. Like I'm already ready to get my uh, spring starters going. 
probably a little too early for that, but uh, you know, when you're gardening and you're trying to get ahead of stuff, you always get a little over ambitious and there's always gonna be that late frost and it's gonna bite you, but at the same time, you're like, ah, let's just get it started. So we survived our 2024 winter, or what we believe probably is our winter for this year. Uh, we might get a couple more days that it's uh, gonna get below freezing or right at freezing. However, as far as dipping down in the teens, that's probably gonna be it for us here in the south. Now, I know when I say a temperature like 17 degrees, if you're from up in the north, you're like, man, that's not that cold. Well, here in the south, that is Arctic. Now, we're not gonna come up there on an 85 degree day on your hottest day in the summer and pick on you because it's not 115 degrees. So don't pick on us for complaining and griping when it's 17 degrees here. Our houses are not built for it. We are not built for it. Our livestock is not built for it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to enjoy the rest of our winter. Hopefully we don't get any more of those low temperatures and we're gonna be just fine prepping for this spring. Now, if you like our content, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you're notified when we come out with new content and we'll see you on our next video. Thank you so much.